my name is David Jeffson. I'm a Deputy Chief for the Terrace Fire Department. Terrace is located uh, approximately about midway up the province of British Columbia in Canada. I'm here at uh, E1, the factory in Ocala. We're doing our final uh, inspection on our awesome truck we just purchased from E1. We bought a Typhoon uh, custom chassis four-wheel drive pumper uh, to meet the needs of our communities. There's lots of different options that we are looking on that and uh, we're pretty excited to receive this truck uh, for our community. Harris is approximately 13 to 15,000 people. Uh, if you start looking at the outlying area, we have some contract areas, we call it Terrace North, uh, where we start to respond, where we're starting to deal with more forestry issues, as well as in the winter time, you know, we can have three feet of snow at any given time throughout the winter, um, or one snowfall, and we realize that have we been fortunate enough not to have an incident up to this point in time. So this pumper here is a four-wheel drive. Uh, we've raised the base uh, of it to allow us to gain more clearance, um, front and back obviously, uh, for the terrain that we're, we're dealing with in the winter time. At the same time as trying to cover some of our concerns with the, from the forestry angle uh, with wildland fires, um, this will now, we feel, will allow our members to be safer, uh, trying to engage different types of fire a different type of roadway. We have a, a white bear that's in the area. We call it a Kermode bear. It's kind of, a, it would be, a, it's an albino white bear, but it's very rare. It's only in a few places um, in the world, I guess. Uh, and that white mascot, that is the city of Terrace's bear. So we call it, it is called the Kermode bear. And, and we have that symbol on um, all the city stuff. Obviously the fire department, you know, it has the fire rescue underneath of it. Um, it is very, unique, unique uh, to Terrace. We've tried to keep it that way and, and anybody who sees it, they, they definitely remember it. Probably the biggest feature for this purchase, I would have to say would be the custom chassis. Uh, you know, obviously the concern is, should be always the members' uh, safety. So at this point in time, we could safely put six members in this unit, um, seat belted in, recognize the proof seats. You know, we've gained space from our previous truck because now we have, for example, five of our SCBA packs in the seats. So that was a big issue for me, is having, uh, getting into that rollover factor. Um, extruded aluminum, obviously, to me, is a huge selling feature. Uh, the rollover tests and the information that we've been, uh, being, been receiving from E1 just shows you know, the safety of our members. They're gonna do okay in a crash. Um, heaven forbid that ever happens, but that definitely was one of our top priorities. We didn't want to lose water, so we do have 780 gallons in here, which allows our first response to have some uh, water. We also have a turret on the front bumper. Um, that'll now allow us, to, that, that first arriving officer, or first arriving firefighter, to do a quick knockdown or a slowdown um, of the fire until our remain other crews arrive on scene. We do have four individual uh, pre-connect lines, three in in the uh, side relay and then one on the bumper which is an increase from our current truck and we're throwing a separate two and a half inch blitz line off the back so we're actually gaining compared to the truck that we're replacing so we're very excited to receive this and and use those benefits in particularly uh, for our community I think uh, it's been a phenomenal experience I've been very lucky that you know whether it's been at fire chief conferences with all the salesmen and representatives from the company E1 that have been there whether it's FD I see, uh, you know, the, the, the time that the representatives have taken to go over issues with me um, has confirmed that I made the right choice for our community. Uh, you know, the time that, you know, each one, if there's a question, somebody always has an answer. You know, whether it's an engineer, uh, whether it's the mechanic, whether it's, you know, the person who designs the truck right from the start, they're answering the questions every single time and they're always a pleasure to come and uh, meet and talk to me, so I appreciate all their dedication and, and helping us move forward.